here we have a laptop where we're going to replace the CPU. You have to find where the heatsink attaches to the CPU. There's generally four screws holding the heatsink down to the CPU. You can remove the four screws in any order. This is a ASUS U31 that I'm using for this example. These days most CPU screws actually stay on and don't come off but these ones here come off as it's um, 4 years old. Generally there's um, three, 3 or 4 screws holding the fan down depending on your fan size, even 5 screws sometimes. If it's small, sometimes it has 2 screws and normally the fan and the heatsink there's sticky tape holding them sticking them together between the heatsink things and the fan you can remove the sticky tape it's not that important you'll see when I turn this around there's a black strip so here's the back strip on the back that's actually sticky tape I am going to remove it for most CPUs for laptop CPUs heatsink and fans, they do have sticky tape holding it down. So now you're just going to get a cloth, there's a screw under the fan, this normally is not the case, I, this is the first laptop I ran into that, that there's a screw under the heat pipe and cannot be accessed until the heat sink is removed. Now we're just going to get a cloth and clean our own, our old film face out. Here's normally where the dust builds up, so you normally will need to clean that part but I have no dust there. So I'm just going to get a cloth now. You don't need any special liquids or anything like others say. You can just clean it off with a cloth and it will come off. It's pretty hard. This, the thermal paste, the original thermal paste is pretty hard and just comes off pretty, really easily. Just wipe it until it's clean. With the CPU, wipe the thermal paste with the CPU inside the socket. Don't remove it and wipe it. It's easier to do it this way as the CPU is held down by the socket so it's a lot easier to grip. Try to clean all off all the thermal paste on your CPU. For my case I am not going to do that as I have a brown sticker on the outside and I do not want to remove the brown sticker. You can remove the brown sticker if you wish. It's not that important but for my case I do not wish to remove it. Most of the newer CPUs don't have it, the brown sticker anymore, as this laptop is old, as I told you before. As long as you get the film paste off the top, and it's clean on top, then that should be fine. So, you only can change your CPU for your laptop if it only has this white area. If it does not have this white thing on top, then you cannot replace your CPU. It means that your CPU is soldered down and bad luck. So you just need a Phillips head screwdriver, not a flat head screwdriver, and you ro rotate it anti-clockwise, half a circle, and it comes out. Be careful, there's pins on the back of the CPU, so don't damage it. So to put back your CPU, there's a triangle on the CPU to tell you which direction it goes in on goes back in. Putting your CPU in the wrong way, it does not fit and can damage your pins, so do not put it in the wrong way. In that corner you can see there's one missing pin compared to the other corners. Every other corner has a pin there. For this corner it doesn't and there's also a white triangle which I'll point to later, you can see. So you just place your CPU in 
and screw, turn the screw clockwise, half a circle, and it will lock in place. And you will be able to feel it. It's like, like a clicking feeling. So now I'm going to get thermal paste. Don't be cheap on thermal paste. This is Noctor thermal paste I'm using. It only costs $10 and you can use it probably 15 times. Only put a bit for this since it has two areas. Put only half a rice grain on it or less. Do not overdo it. Overdoing it can harm you. Second thing is do not spread it. This is really important. By spreading it, you create air bubbles and holes in the thermal paste when you put the back the heatsink on top of it. For most laptops, you don't actually have to take out the fan to remove the heatsink. For my case, I just did it because I wanted to clean the fan. So when you put your heatsink back on, do not press down on it. You only screw in one side, the first side, well, all the screws, halfway only. Do not screw in all the way. This way you spread the thermal paste out evenly. If you screw in all the way, it will cause the thermal waste to be pushed in one direction. So you put your first screw in halfway, the second screw goes on the opposite corner. Next, you can choose any corner to begin again and put your screw in halfway. The last one, you put your screw in all the way and work backwards. And that's about it. You're done, just like that. So here's the triangle on the CPU. There's also a triangle on the motherboard as well. I'll just go point to it now. Hope you can see that. And there's a small triangle there, white triangle, tells you which direction the CPU goes in. And that's it. Don't be cheap on thermal face. That's the caution message. Second thing is do not spread it out. That's really important. And when you put your heatsink back on, don't press it down. As when you press it down, then you screw in one screw, it lifts it back up, creating air, air bubbles inside when you screw in the opposite direction. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.